Hi friends, hi, welcome back, welcome back. See today we're in the kitchen again after a long day. So of course I want something a smidget stronger than a glass of wine to cook my dinner. So I am going to make a vodka blueberry limeade, which is pretty good. I'm, I'm, I make up drinks in the kitchen <laughs> and I love um, a nice refreshing cocktail. Wine makes me sleepy. I'm not ready to go to sleep tonight. Um, I am usually in the bed about 8.39 and today I want to stay up to 10. <laughs> anyway, what um, I have in here is just some blueberries and some fresh blueberries I just put down in the bottom of the, um, what do you call this thing? The little mixer thing. And I just kind of mold them a little bit. I made a simple syrup, which is easy to make. And we're going to use that too. I'll tell you the recipe for that. But I just kind of mold these a little bit. And then just to get some of the flavors out of it, out of the blueberries, we're going to add some ice. And we're going to um, save some of this ice for our glass too. But of course we add ice in there and I'm just making one drink because my husband works tonight and he can't drink. So I'll be drinking alone. So then we're going to add us some lime and just squeeze. Oh, that gives off a good amount of lime so I may not need both of them. Let's just use two and see how they taste first. And then if I need another lime, I'll add it. But I think we're good with this one because it's giving off some good juice. And I am no measurer. I just kind of pour my drink and make it as I feel like it should taste. So we're going to use some vodka. And pour that in there. I may need some more ice because once this hot liquor get on it, it's going to... See, yeah, I'm just a pourer. I might have poured too much for your liking, but pour what you like to drink. I might need a little bit more for my take. And then a little bit of triple sec, but I only use a little bit of it because I have a simple syrup and I don't want it too sweet because I don't need too much sweetness. Now in my simple syrup is, I put blueberries in here, if you can see, I had blueberries in equal parts water and equal part um, sugar. So we'll pour some simple syrup in there. Alrighty, and then we're gonna shake it up, shake it up and shake it up. And Just a nice little shake to get it all mixed in. And before I pour it in my glass, I want to taste a little bit to see if I do have enough lime. Because I, like I said, I only used one lime. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Guys, make me one of these at home. Sometimes when the drinks is too delicious, I'm like, give me some more, give me some more. But this is a delicious drink. You can use some blueberries for garnish. Um, I am going to, excuse me for a minute, grab my knife and I don't normally do this without my cutting board, but I want a little garnish of lime in there. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Now let's start our dinner. Oh my goodness, this is real good. Mm. This is real good. <laughs> All right, let's start our dinner. I'm going to move the camera so we can go to the stove. This is real good. I don't want to keep saying that, but it is real good. <laughs> Today, what we're cooking for dinner, I didn't even pull a pan out. But anyway, that's my simple syrup. We're gonna make some um, 
fish, which I've been cooking a lot lately. This is mahi-mahi, but we're gonna do it in a miso style um, mahi-mahi. We're gonna use some miso sauce, which I forgot to grab. Give me one second. I'm back, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so in our miso sauce, we're gonna use a little bit of miso paste. And we're gonna make a lot of this cause we're gonna use a little bit of this sauce to go on our vegetables as well. So anyway, put some miso paste in here. And this is gonna be kind of like, I guess maybe an Asian flavored fish. If you ever use with the, use this, it's really good. It's really good to cook with. Um, not only meat, vegetables as well. Like use some of that miso to make some Brussels sprouts. Girl. All right, so in here, and like I said, I don't measure. I'm just a self-appointed chef. So I just kind of go to taste. We're gonna add some ginger. Some garlic, which I hate to use the same spoon. Oh, here's my knife. Put some garlic in here. Some fresh chives that I cut up. And then we are going to add in some marin which is like a sweet cooking rice, white rice wine, excuse me. So it's the uh, fish is gonna have like a little sweet to it, but we're gonna use a little red pepper flakes to kind of take off some of the sweetness. We're gonna mix this in, mix it, mix it, mix it real good. This smells real good. Then add the soy sauce. And we use a lot of soy sauce. And you know, fish will sop up a um, flavor of whatever you put on it real quick. So I didn't have to marinate this. If I was doing like chicken or some other meat, I would have marinated and put it in the refrigerator for a little while and let the flavors just marinate in. But fish will pick up a flavor because it's easy. It'll hold it really good. So you don't have to marinate it real good. Well, real good marinated, but not too long. Now it's, um, let me come a little bit closer so you can see how it's mixing up well. See how it's getting, how it's mixing up. And that's good, good, good. I'm gonna add a little more soy sauce because like I said, this is gonna go on my fish as well as my vegetables. A little soy sauce. There we go. And a little bit of this marin. Perfect. And then it's mixing really good. The secret ingredient, brown sugar. Now it's all whisked in. Whisked in. Now we're gonna go ahead and flavor our fish so we can put it in the oven. Let's give this a little take. Oh, let's put some red pepper flakes in here just to give a little spice and then some salt and pepper. And it looks like I'm putting a lot because these, this is little. It's not a lot because I don't do too spicy. These little holes, it doesn't come out too good. So let's give this a taste. Ah, it's 
falling everywhere but my finger. There we go. That's good. We gonna drink good tonight and eat good tonight. All right, so my fish, I cleaned it off and set it in here, but what I should have did is kind of pat it dry. So let me get a napkin and pat it dry because I don't want it like this. Okay, so we're gonna just pat it dry because the water is all down in the bottom of our, our pan and that's not good, <laughs> not good at all. So let's get all this extra water out and then we'll coat the fish. For some reason, I feel like even though this um, it has a sauce. I feel like I need to put olive oil on it. That just makes me feel better. But I'm only going to do a little bit. Just a little olive oil on it. I massage my food. <laughs> Let it know I love it. And then it tastes good and love me back. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is start adding, drizzling this on it, the seasoning, which is this miso seasoning. And I'm just spooning some on it and then I'll massage it in on both sides. gloves when you do this because it's gonna be messy but I'll go and wash my hands and come back but I just massage it in on both sides to make sure it's all over because every bite of fish that I bite into I want it to taste flavorful and we can't go out right now. I mean, I guess we can. We just limit our going out with the um, pandemic. So I like to have restaurant style meals at home. So that's what I do. I do a lot of cooking and trying different things. And thank the Lord, they're pretty much a success. They're usually a success. Sometimes they're you know, my husband said, don't do this one again. But some, a lot of times he'll say, I mean, but he eats it. <laughs> but then sometimes he'll say, what is that? Make that again. So we just try different things over here. So like I said, I'm doing both sides to make sure it's flavor in every bite of fish. And again, we're going to massage it in so the flavors is all in it, all throughout, on every little piece, every bite we bite into, we want the flavor. All right, so I'm going to put this in the oven, and then I'm going to go wash my hands, take a sip of my cocktail, and then come right back. <laughs> All right, we have nice clean hands. Let me dry them off. Fish don't take that long to cook. That's why I cook a lot of it. <laughs> and too, I cook a lot because I'm trying to get a little bit of this off of me. It's today was 75 degrees. It's gonna be hard to get this off if I keep doing this. But today was 75 degrees and it's gonna just get nicer and nicer and nicer. And since this pandemic, I have been just cooking, cooking, eating, eating, not going anywhere, doing much of anything and gaining. So I wanna do better. I've been trying to do better so I can get some of these pounds off of me so I can 
be ready to travel when this world open back up because I, in my future, I see myself somewhere. I think I said that before. I really mean it. I will keep saying it until I'm somewhere. <laughs> Guys, this is delicious. Mmm. This is, this is real good. So what I'm gonna make now my, for my side dish is some bok choy, which is like an Asian um, cabbage. And I feel like the bok choy will go good with this fish because it is um, in the miso, which is still like an Asian kind of flavored dish, kind of, you know, it has the, some of the uh, notes of it, like the ginger, the garlic, and the miso, and the marin, and this uh, soy sauce, so it has some of the flavors in it. Another thing, I'm, I'm all over the place because I'm a scatterbrain sometimes, but I just saw this sitting here, this simple syrup, you can put this in like a, um, airtight container and keep it in the refrigerator for at least a week. I don't know how much longer because it doesn't last longer than a week at my house because I will make another drink again, probably tomorrow night. Or probably after I finish this drink with my dinner, I'll probably make another cocktail. <laughs> but I have some bok choy that I cleaned up and cut and I just have it in the paper towel because I was trying to get some of the water off of it after I cleaned it. And I'm just gonna grill it in this pan. So I'm gonna get this pan nice and hot. If you can see the pan, I have a grill pan here. And I'm gonna get the pan nice and hot. Let me try to put this down some. I guess it doesn't go down anymore. That's okay, well, just, Imagine you're seeing me grilling it, <laughs> but it's better to let your um, pan wait on you than you wait on the pan. A couple times I made some things because I was so excited to cook for you guys. I just started going without letting my pan get hot enough, but today we're going to get it hot because we're going to grill it and we want that little char taste to it a little bit and we're gonna just put some salt and pepper on this grill it let's get the salt and pepper out simple dinner but delicious you know we like to eat good but we don't want to be in the kitchen all day slaving over a stove but I put some olive oil in the pan, which is my jam. I'm, I'm an olive oil cooker. So, you know, I bought some um, avocado oil. I have yet to open it. Um, so I'm gonna cook something and try that and see how it tastes in there. But I am, I do a lot with olive oil. I have a, let me grab my straw because I don't really like to drink like this. I need a straw. These straws from Amazon, these little glass straws. And when I tell you these things changed the game for me. But I probably shouldn't use the straw because it makes me drink more. <laughs> and these little delicious drinks make you go pretty quick. So again, I'm just kind of patting my meat. I mean... Not me, my <laughs> bok choy dry because we don't want to put it on the pan drenching. But I had um, washed it off and cut it up. <clears throat> so all we're gonna do is put them on the pan and let them pan sear. Okay, you hear the sizzle? And I'm only gonna put so many at a time and I'll rotate them this way and this way so they can fit. Ah, sizzle, sizzle. That's that water on here. Let's get some of that off. Ooh. 
a little bit of salt and pepper. You know what? I'm clear. I'm gonna salt and pepper is easier for me to use these here. This is just some um Himalayan uh, Himalayan <laughs> pink salt. And it's just easier for me to do it this way. A little pepper. And then we're gonna just let it pan sear a little bit and flip it to the other side. And then once it gets, you know, a little seared, then we're gonna add some of this sauce on it. And like I said, we're only gonna cook so many at a time because I don't have restaurant style pots. They're nice pots, but they're they're only gonna hold a couple. for a second. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pan sear them for a second and then finish them off in the oven with the um, sauce. And then that way I can get them done all at the same time. Get me a little dip. Hold on. cook so many at a time in here and they need to cook a little bit longer to get tender so I'm going to just start them in here salt and pepper again sip of my cocktail very good I told you I was a self-appointed um, chef, but I love, love, love food, and I love good flavors, so this is what I'll do all day long is a cook. That's why I don't mind hosting at my house, because I don't mind cooking. I'll do some little parties and do different events here, because I don't mind. I, I like to cook. I'm gonna check on the salmon. Give me one second. Salmon is looking delicious. inside they get a little smaller. I've only had it a few times. 
I don't think my husband had it. He's gonna be like, what is this? You always making something different. Just fry me a piece of chicken and make me some mashed potatoes. <laughs> but I'm not that girl. And he knows that. He knows it. Let me refill this because like I said, it's delicious. So <laughs> put a little bit more ice in it and another. I think I have some more in there. I told you before, when you feel good, you cook good. So and this is making me feel good. And if you wanna know how I feel, I feel good. Okay, I'm being silly now, but anyway. <laughs> I need to hurry up and finish dinner. I know my husband said he was gonna be late, so I'm not really rushing for him, but I um, have a client who finally decided they want to put an offer in on the house, so I need to go ahead and get it to, um, together and submit an offer for them. That's my full time, I'm a realtor. This is my fun time, but I'm a realtor full time. So that's what helps me buy what I want to buy. <laughs> and this helps me have fun when I get home and, you know, kind of wind down. This is my playtime, you know, talking with you guys and chit-chatting with you and cooking since I love cooking anyway. I think I'm making way too much bok choy. I think I'm gonna save this for another dish. This here, I'm gonna wrap it and put it in the fridge. But this here is all I need for us because just me and my husband. How much food are we gonna eat? Ouch, did you just pop me? So, now that this is, has pan seared some, I'm going to drizzle. Some of this sauce, that's why I said I was saving, so I was making a lot so I can drizzle some over the bok choy and then I'll finish it off in the oven. Mm, mm -mm. It smells so good in my kitchen right now. Move them around so I can make sure I get all of them. Get it all coated. And to the oven we go. I was always told that a good cook always cleans up after themselves. So I'm going to clean this up. Get a baggie to put this in and put this in the refrigerator for another dish. And be right back.
Okay, I'm just waiting on my fish to finish and the vegetables to soften just a little bit. And in a, just a few minutes, I'll go ahead and plate, show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to eat. Say good night and eat my dinner. <laughs> All right, hold on, guys. husband just came home so it's time for me to plate. Just wipe off around the plate. Little bit of red pepper flakes on top. And I'm putting it in my hand to make sure it's very little. Dinner is served. Can you see? Simple dish, but quick and easy, fast dinner. Thanks for watching. Let me go feed my husband. Tune in next time. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you'll know when I upload a new video. All right. Thank you guys. Love you. Be blessed. Bye.